And let's not forget, I have the one thing that he doesn't have, and that's a punch that can switch lights off within, within the blink of an eye. Just one wrong step, one wrong maneuver, and it's over. I'm sure that. He's kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Oleksandr Usyk is a great champion who is famous not only for his achievements in boxing, but also for his truly honorable behavior both in and out of the ring. A boxer who always behaves with dignity with his rivals, and behavior such as trash talk or insults to his opponent is considered unacceptable. Nevertheless, even for such a noble champion, there are those who, with their audacious antics and words, try to somehow offend or infuriate him. But Usyk does not tolerate this. He puts such brazen daredevils in their place later. In today's video, we will see just what happens when you make Oleksandr Usyk angry. If you enjoy our videos, press the thumbs up. And if you are new to our channel, don't forget to subscribe. Let's get started. Oleksandr Usyk vs. Argentinian Cesar David Krenz This fight took place back in 2014. At the time, Usyk was still a relative newcomer to the professional arena. This was only his fourth fight, while his opponent was more experienced and had even won some championships. Being relatively humble before the fight, Cesar unexpectedly chose bold tactics during the fight, constantly teasing and now and then provoking our hero. But Usyk did not succumb to the provocation, but calmly dismantled the Argentinian. First, in the third round, Usyk broke Caesar's block with a clear left hook, sending him to the floor. Then, he deliberately did not finish him off. In the fourth round, with an accurate and powerful blow to the body, he finally sent him to the canvas. After this blow, the Argentinian experienced real agony and could no longer get up. The result was Usyk's fifth victory, and the brazen opponent was punished. Oleksandr Usyk vs. South African boxer Daniel Brewer At stake was the first professional title in Usyk's career, the WBO Intercontinental. The fight developed according to the same scenario as the previous one, open bravado of the opponent, smiles after missed strikes, and sometimes cocky behavior. And the result of such behavior against Usyk, as we already know, was the same. In the seventh round, when Daniel, becoming too confident, once again tried to throw blows at the Ukrainian, Usyk was not taken aback and took advantage, delivering a hard left hook which sent Brewer to the floor. Daniel could not get up to the referee's countdown and Usyk won an open victory and once again proved that it is better not to be overconfident when fighting him. Oleksandr Usyk vs. British boxer Tony Bellew Unlike Usyk's previous fights, this one at least had a little background. By the time the fight took place, Oleksandr was already the undisputed cruiserweight champion and the winner of the Muhammad Ali Trophy. Unsurprisingly, Tony Bellew became interested in Usyk and began challenging him to fight. Usyk accepted the challenge. Before the fight, Tony, in his own style, spoke boldly about the Ukrainian promising a knockout. He confidently declared that he would be the winner, mocking Usyk in every possible way. But it was all done in a friendly manner. If you look at the previous fights and the antics of the Briton, you can understand that he respected Oleksandr very much. Tony and many boxing critics shared the opinion that Usyk did not have a powerful knockout punch. This accusation was heard everywhere. But Usyk was serious about proving otherwise. On November 10, 2018, the fight took place. It should be noted that in the early rounds, Tony showed decent resistance and even won on the cards of some judges. But later, Oleksandr became more active and began to show his power. And in the eighth round, after several clean blows, Usyk sent the shocked Briton to a brutal knockout with a left hook. With this, he once and for all closed critics' mouth and made it clear that his lack of a powerful knockout blow was just a myth. Usyk defends all four cruiserweight world titles. It's a 
sensational instant fashion. We saw him breaking down Bellew. He thought that Bellew would hit his peak, but he could find a way to make the second level. And Usyk, little by little, pouring it on and wins in definitive fashion. If that's the way Tony Bellew moves it. Oleksandr Usyk versus controversial German boxer Marco Huck. This fight highlighted again the fact that the overconfidence against Usyk can be a bad thing, as he has the capabilities to make you answer for your words. The fight was outlined as a unique tournament of the World Boxing Super Series, the winner of which received all the belts in the division, a large sum of money, and also became the owner of the Muhammad Ali Trophy. All the top boxers, of course, rushed to compete in this tournament. Usyk, who by the time was already the WBO champion, did the same. Usyk chose Marco Huck as his very first rival. Marco was then already a former world champion, who did not have a very good reputation, due to his antics in and out of the ring. Often before the fight, Marco would provoke his opponent, and in the ring, he was known for using dirty tricks. Usyk, as you can imagine, was no exception for Huck. During the stare-down before the fight, Huck pushed the Ukrainian, using derogatory terms to slander his character, crossing the line for Usyk. I expect you to conduct yourself in a professional manner, and this fight be clean. Mr. Usyk, Mr. Hoop, gentlemen, let's do this. During the fight, Usyk did indeed arrange a tough beating for Huck. He thoroughly beat the German, destroying him round after round. There were, of course, a couple dirty tricks performed by Huck, but Usyk was ready for them and calmly did his job. As a result, in the 10th round, the fight had already turned into an open beating, and after a prolonged attack, the referee intervened and stopped the fight. After the fight, Alexander admitted that he deliberately tortured Huck. After that, Usyk would continue to become the winner of this tournament and become the undisputed heavyweight champion of the world. But that's a completely different story. In this video, we highlighted the fact that Usyk has the capabilities to deliver a beating to even the most confident of fighters, and why it is unwise to make him angry. We hope you enjoyed this video. Let us know your thoughts in the comments, and don't forget to share, like, and subscribe to the channel. See you next time in the ring.